If you haven't watched The Disappearance of Madeline McCann, the Netflix documentary, I highly recommend that you do. I won't go over the entire thing right now, but the premise of it is that it is about a three-year-old girl that went missing while on vacation with her parents back in 2007. Uh, the documentary goes over this uh, unfortunate incident in great, great detail. Now, no one has ever been charged or convicted with this, con with this crime. Uh, at one point in time, the parents were even suspected of doing it, but they have since been cleared. Now, as of today, there has been some breaking news. CNN is reporting, and what am I about to read is from the CNN article. I will post the link to the CNN article in the description below. But here's what it said. The new suspect is a 43-year-old German man. Uh, the suspect has been previously convicted for sexually abusing children. Uh, he is currently serving a long jail sentence for an unrelated matter. He is now being investigated for the possible murder in connection with McCann. The suspect had lived in Portugal's Algrave region from 1995 to 2007 and also resided in, in a house in Pre, uh, Prera de Luz, the resort from which McCann disappeared. London's Metropolitan Police on Wednesday also revealed details of two cars linked to the suspect around the time of the disappearance and called to the public to step forward with any information about them. The first vehicle is a distinctive VW T3 Westphalia camper van. It is an early 1980s model with two-tone markings, a white upper body, and a yellow skirting. It had a Portuguese registration plate. The suspect also had access, or sorry, the suspect had access to this van from at least April 2007 until sometime after May 2007. It was used in and around the area of Priera da Luz. The second vehicle is a 1993 British Jaguar model XJR6 with a German plate number and registered in Germany. The car is believed to have been in the Priera da Luz and surrounding areas in 2006 and 2007. The car was originally registered in the suspect's name. On May 4th, 2007, the day after Madeline's disappearance, the car was re-registered to someone else in Germany. So this is the first real big break they've got in this case in a long, long time. This case is now 13 years old, and they have yet to find somebody to try and convict for this crime. Hopefully, this lead pans out and they have found the person responsible for this crime. And like I said at the beginning, if you haven't watched The Disappearance of Madeline McCann, it is a tremendous documentary that is on Netflix right now, and I highly recommend you check it out.